in what is said to be a historic year for elections worldwide. Taiwan is set to go to polls on 13th January. With the presidential elections approaching, voters are grappling with choosing parties that vary in their stance towards China. Now, some 19.5 million registered voters will cast the ballot and choose and choose their next president, vice president, and legislative representatives. And ahead of the polls, campaigning is going on at a high pitch in Taiwan. Contestants are on the campaign trail with supporters crowding their rallies. Although for some elderly veterans, the reminders of past conflict with China are literally etched on their skin in the form of anti-communist tattoos. Meanwhile, the idea of unification with China is also especially unpopular among Taiwan's youth. When the bombs are falling, there won't be electricity or water. How will the common people go on living? Taiwan is a part of China. It has been since the Qing and Ming dynasties. There is certainly a generational shift. Uh, the older generation was a little more likely to be for unification, and the younger generation, a lot less likely. They tend to have, the younger people tend to have a separate, almost distinct Taiwanese national identity as opposed to a more Chinese national identity. So in that sense, the trend lines on support for unification uh, is a downward one, uh, less and less support for unification over time. Meanwhile, Beijing has ramped up its military pressure against the island, including staging two rounds of major war games. And this has stoked fears of a war that could drag in the United States of America. China has been claiming Taiwan as its own. In fact, Chinese President Xi Jinping says that the country's unification with Taiwan was inevitable as part of his New Year's address. Now, these tensions are dominating campaigns in the run-up to the elections. The main opposition party, KMT, whose government fled China in 1949, has termed the upcoming polls as a choice between war and peace, a line Beijing has echoed. The party is pitching a middle way. It is defending the island's freedom and democratic system while seeking dialogue with Beijing under the One China principle. On the other hand, the ruling Democratic Progressive Party or the DPP, it champions Taiwan's separate identity from China. It maintains that only Taiwan's people can decide their future and they have rejected that framing as scaremongering, saying that nobody wants war.